In this video, I'm breaking down Nota AI, the AI note taker everyone's talking about. If you're sick of taking notes, missing key moments, or wasting time transcribing meetings, this tool might be worth a look. I'll show you what it does, what it gets right, and where it still needs work. And if you want to try it out, the link is in the description. It's my affiliate link, so I may earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. Thank you very much, and now let's get into it. So first, what is Noda AI? It's a tool that turns speech into searchable text. Whether you're recording a Zoom call, uploading a podcast, or documenting an in-person meeting. It works in real time, supports over 100 languages, and integrates with tools like Zoom, Google Meets, and Microsoft Teams. You also get automatic summaries, speaker ID, and collaborative editing, all built into a clean web-based dashboard. It's also GDPR compliant and doesn't use your transcripts for AI model training, which is a big plus if you're handling sensitive conversations or client data. Now, let's go over the core features. First up, real-time transcription. This isn't just recording audio and dumping a file later. Nota transcribes your meetings live, word by word as they happen. You see the text appear instantly on screen. So if someone drops an important number, date, or decision, it's already captured. This is a game changer for anyone in fast-paced calls where pause and take notes just isn't an option. Then there's multilingual support and this one's underrated. Nota can transcribe in 58 languages, translate into 42, and even handle bilingual conversations. That means if one person speaks English and another responds in Spanish or Japanese or French, it will accurately capture both. If you work with international clients or teams across borders, this removes a major communication bottleneck. Next, we got speaker identification. Nota uses AI to label who is speaking, which makes post-meeting reviews way easier. No more guessing who said what, especially in team calls with multiple voices. The transcripts are tagged clearly, which is gold for interviews, team reviews, or legal documentation. Once your transcript is ready, Nota doesn't just leave you with a wall of text. You can search by keyword, edit sections directly, and generate automatic summaries that surface the most important parts, key takeaways, decisions, and next steps. You can also export everything in formats like TXT, Docs, PDF, or SRT, if you're making subtitles. And if you're working inside tools like Slack, Notion, or Google Calendar, Nota syncs directly, so everything fits into your existing workflow. Now, one standout feature here is Nota's ability to generate a mind map view and timestamp chapters for your conversations, giving you a visual layout of the discussion. That's a massive time saver when reviewing long meetings or interviews. So what's it like actually using Nota? Well, it's smooth. I've tried pretty much every tool out there, Otter, Fireflies, Fathom, and honestly, Nota is one of the easiest to use. The interface is clean, fast, and it just works. There are a few solid ways you can actually use it. First, you can record a meeting live. Just hit record and Nota starts transcribing in real time. It even supports two languages at once. So if you've got people switching between English and Spanish or whatever, it handles that without a problem. Second, you can upload a file, audio or video, doesn't matter drag it in, and a few minutes later, you've got a full transcript, fast and accurate. Third, and this is the one I use a lot, you can paste a YouTube link. Nota will pull the video, transcribe it, and boom, you've got the text. Great for repurposing content or pulling quotes from long interviews. Once the transcript's in, you can do everything right inside the app. Edit text, search for keywords, highlight sections, adjust playback speed. If someone said something important, you can find it in seconds and jump to that exact part of the recording. And if you're more of a visual learner, there's a mind map view. It turns your transcript into a visual summary, kind of like seeing the whole conversation mapped out. Super helpful for big meetings or messy brainstorms. And based on actual user reviews, onboarding is fast. People consistently say it takes just minutes to get comfortable, even if you're not tech savvy. 
Now, let's stack up Notum against the competition because that's where things get interesting. First up, Otter AI. Otter's been around for a while, but it's starting to show its limits. Nota supports way more languages out of the box, 58 for transcription and 42 for translation. It also includes video recording, something Otter doesn't really offer unless you're deep into their higher tier plans. Importing content is also easier with Nota. You can pull files from Google Drive, Dropbox, even paste a direct URL. With Otter, you're limited unless you upgrade. And even then, the upload process can feel restrictive and outdated. Next, Firefly's AI. Firefly's is powerful, but a bit clunky. The dashboard is bloated and finding basic functions can take a few extra clicks. Nota feels way lighter and quicker. You log in, hit record or upload, and you're working. It also has smart tools built in like automatic text correction, bilingual support, and real-time transcription across multiple input types. Firefly's, while solid, doesn't offer the same level of flexibility especially for multilingual teams or people who work with both in-person and online contents. Then there's TLDV and Fathom. These are more niche. They're really built just for online meetings. Great if you're living inside Zoom or Google Meets, but the moment you need to transcribe a podcast, a YouTube video, or a file from your desktop, you're out of luck. Nota doesn't have that limitation. You can handle in-person recordings, drop in external media, or record live calls, all in the same dashboard. It also gives you live on-screen transcription, speaker tagging, and more expert options, including CRTs for subtitles, which is a big deal if you're making content. This all makes Nota more than a meeting tool. It's also great for creators, journalists, and educators. So the bottom line, Nota isn't just keeping up. It's pulling ahead on flexibility, language support, and speed of use. The other tools do one thing well. Nota does most things better. Next, let's talk pricing. The free plan gives you 120 transcription minutes per month, but it caps each session at just three minutes. So it's really just a way to try the platform. You also get 50 file uploads and 10 AI summaries. But if you're doing real work, like full meetings or interviews, you'll outgrow it fast. The pro plan is where things get usable. You get 1,800 minutes per month, five hours per conversation, 100 monthly file uploads, and 100 monthly AI summaries. Plus, this tier unlocks transcript exports, multilingual translation, and custom vocabulary support. It's $8.17 per month if you pay annually or around $13.49 if you go month to month. The business plan is built for teams. You get unlimited transcription minutes, up to five hours per meeting, plus 200 monthly file uploads and 200 monthly AI summaries. It also includes advanced features like CRM integrations, admin controls, usage reporting, and more secure data handling. Starts at $16.67 per month if billed annually, or $27.99 if you pay monthly. This one makes sense if you've got a team doing a lot of client calls or internal meetings. And then there's Enterprise. That plan is for big companies, over 50 users or more. You get everything in the business plan, plus things like SAML, single sign-on, audit logs, flexible payment options, and priority support. But there's no fixed pricing. You'll have to talk to sales for a quote. So the bottom line here is that the free version is great for testing. But if you're serious about using Nota regularly, Pro, is the minimum. And if you're running a team or an agency, business is where you'll actually get value. Now, to keep things balanced, Nota is not without its drawbacks. Accuracy is solid in most cases, but it can struggle a bit in noisy settings or when dealing with strong accents. You'll still get the overall meeting, but expect to clean up the occasional word or punctuation slip. Luckily, the editing tools are fast, simple, and built right into the transcripts. So it doesn't slow you down much. Also, worth noting, because it's a cloud-based platform, a stable internet connection makes a big difference. If your Wi-Fi is spotty, uploads might lag and real-time transcription could feel a bit delayed. So, who is Nota AI for? If you're a solo creator, agency owner, coach, or part of a remote team, Nota can save you hours every week. 
It's especially useful if you work across time zones, deal with multiple languages, or just need a reliable way to keep track of everything that was set in meetings, interviews, or content recordings. It's great for documenting client calls, pulling out highlights for social content, generating subtitles, or just organizing your brain without scrambling to take notes. So if you want to try it out, the link is in the description. Start with the free plan and see how it fits your workflow. And if it clicks, upgrade when you're ready. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.